Hello and welcome, I'm JD and today I want to talk to you about how the vertical launch systems will change with the major missile update. So currently there are two vertical launch systems in the game, the VLS-16 which fires size 2 offensive missiles and has 16 cells, and the VLS-23 which has 23 cells and fires a size 1 missile repost. With the update all vertical launch systems will scale so that their cell size will increase based on the size of the mount that they are placed in. On the screen, on the left hand side is the current VLS-16 in a size 2 mount. When a VLS-16 is placed in a class 3 mount, it increases in size, giving you an extra 8 cells that you can fill. From the pictures here, what we can see on this frigate in a size 2 mount, you'll get 16 missiles. In a size 3 mount, you'll receive 32. And on the back of an Axford, which is a class 4 mount, you'll receive 64 missiles in total. To accommodate this, all vertical launch systems will also be renamed. So the VLS-16 will be renamed to the VLS-2, and the VLS-23 should be renamed to the VLS-1. It's no longer just the size 2 missiles and the size 1 missiles that will have vertical launch systems. Say hello to the VLS-3s, which will allow you to now mount torpedoes in a vertical launch cell. So again, on the frigate, you will be able to mount a VLS-3 on a class 2 mount for what, 4 torpedoes, or on a class 3 mount for 6 torpedoes. I don't have any photos of size 4 and 5 torpedoes on the numbers there, and we also don't have any official word on points costs for each of these components and how that works as we increase, as this will no doubt be tweaked during the playtesting to come. That's it for today. Some of you may have already seen this in the Discord announcement on the 13th of June, and for some of you who had eagle eyes, you spotted that within the flare video the other day, noticing the VLS-3 on top of the light cruiser who was deploying flares. Otherwise, take care and have a good day.